attention with uh, something weird. President, owner, mentor, uh, my granny. Conservator. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you all. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he's been doing lately. Oh, uh, what have I been doing lately? I, I put out movies. And I put out movies that are lost, unseen, unheard of. You know, it's kind of movies that you get to a point in collecting where you say to yourself, I want to see things I've never heard of. And that's when you find me. Yeah. Great stuff you put out of it. Consistently putting out excellent product. So, uh, over the last couple of years, we do the Chiller Show very, very regularly. We're actually a fixture at this show. We're one of the co-promoters and, and we're best friends with uh, Kevin Clement and his family. And so we've been doing that. I think this is my 15th show in a row. I'm not sure. Yeah. Tell us about your recent experiences in Scandinavia. Yeah, we just did a uh, film festival over there in five cities, in three different countries, five cities. We took Dave Friedman, who's the mighty monarch of the exploitation, sexploitation film world. He's the producer of Blood Feast 2000 Maniac, She Freak, Zara She Blows, Erotic Adventures of Zorro, so on and so forth. Don't forget Trader Horny. Trader Horny, and one of my favorites. Oh, no, I already said that one. Zara She Blows, yeah. So, uh, Sorry, Phil Lalatio. Exactly. You know the movies well. Good. But we went over there and we did these shows and um, we did every gimmick in the book. We had monsters crash out and abduct audience members. We gave away a dead body at every she free show. It's like pure William Castle. Kind of, it's actually a very sub, you know, kind of bottom of the barrel William Castle. Like the free body they got was a, a chicken, you know, a frozen chicken. So we did this thing for 28 days. It was like being on a rock and roll tour, you know, and uh, it was a thrill. And then we got home. The most recent adventures for something weird is we have a TV show on in England right now called Exploitica and it's a half an hour clip show that incorporates that um, word bubble thing and lots of sound effects. What do they call it? Pop-up video. Incorporates that so we have no host. And we've taken movies and diced them and sliced them to make them even funnier, which is kind of hard to do. That's a grievance. Like, How can you make these things even funnier? But And the show's very successful. It's on a Friday night at 11.30. Then it's followed by a full length feature. And then um, other adventures. We just did a deal with Image uh, to do DVDs. So we'll have 50 or more of those coming out in the next year and a half. And uh, Tell us, what, what happened with uh, Real Wild Cinema? It's It has to be the longest running rerun. It's on still. It's on Friday nights. I made 22 of them. They're an hour long. They're wonderful. I mean, you get to meet Friedman and Herschel and Doris. Everybody. You get to meet the whole you know, Connie Mason and Tour Santana and so on and so forth. So, uh, and it's still on Friday nights. It's amazing. Things like, I think I made them four years ago. We've been in touch with AMC and the Independent Film Channel. And they've got a, AMC has a thing called American Pop. And they contacted us and we solicited them over 100 features, which there's a good chance I'll get half of them sold to American Pop. And once my foot's in the door, I'll sell them trailers and shorts and all the other goofy stuff I have. So thanks. Yeah, well, thank you, man. All right, take care. Pleasure talking to you. Good luck with your show.